y'all? Welcome back to Mikey Polis. Today behind me I got a 2019 F-150 Raptor and we're here to find out if this bad boy is big man certified. Okay, so it's probably pretty evident this bad boy will probably be big man certified. It's huge. I drive an F-150 and the reason I drive an F-150 is because of how well it fits me. I've had it for five and a half years, but really today we're going to be doing a nice comparison between the Raptor, which is made to off-road, it's bigger, it's wider, it's badder. Really we're going to do a full comparison of the F-150 to the Raptor. Let's walk around the outside and I'll show you some of the specs of this 2019. Okay, so one of the first things you notice right away is really the stance of these Raptors. They're way wider. You got the wider fender flares, and then you notice the big FORD on the front grille. A lot of people will try and put these on their regular F-150s. Don't do it. You'll regret it, man. Trust me. These are made for the Raptor. One of my favorite things about these is you got the metal bumper, and then a lot of times people will stick some light pods right in here, and it'll give you that off-road aggression that you're looking for for those extra lights when you're off-road. One of my other favorite things with the F-150s is they come stock with Fox shocks. This bad boy's on 35-inch general tire. Is the wheels, they come like a beadlock wheel. They give it that really nice aggressive look. It's really low profile, all metal sidestep, which also you can kind of use and act as a rock slider for when you're off-road, which is what the Raptor is meant to do. The other thing you notice, the Ford logo is back. The full tailgate. We got dual exhaust. We got a couple of little nice tow hooks here. Factory tow package. And then backup camera on your tailgate. So you notice on the rear of the car, you also got, you got the dual cartridge Fox shocks for the back. And then you also have the leaf springs. And then again, you got the B-block wheels on the general tires. So the overall stand and width of this vehicle about three inches wider on each side than a general standard F-150. You got the wide fender flares, and what that does is it protects your paint from these big old 35 inch generals that this guy's got on it. All right, now that we've done the outside tour, we've checked the whole thing out. You checked out those wide hips on this bad boy. You got the skid plate underneath, that aggressive look. You got that vented hood scoop right here, which is actually functional. It's one thing you don't typically see is that a functional scoop on the hood. All right, so now that we've been on the outside, let's jump inside and see how this bad boy looks. Oof. All right, so now that we're inside, we got, you'll notice it's quite cold and windy again here. Um, the good part is, is the snow, well, I don't know if it's good or bad, depends how you like it, but the snow is gone that we got originally when we did the Bronco episode. That snow is gone, but we are supposed to get three to five inches of snow tomorrow. So, for now that we're inside, we're out of the wind, we're out of the cold, first thing we have to do I can swing my legs. The thing I like about these Raptors is you have the really nice heated and ventilated leather seats. You got the Raptor stitched in you got the Raptor stitched into the seat right here. Let's start with the steering wheel. We got the um, kind of the two-tone leather. You have the kind of the perforated leather and then the smooth leather. You got the signature, you got the signature Raptor um, little coil band right there. You got Raptor right here. And then like I said before, it is this is a paddle shifter. So you can you can go into manual mode. Boop. And then you can paddle shift with these. You got a really nice big heads-up display. Uh, the middle is digital. You got a nice big display screen here. Up top, you got a little storage, a speaker. So up top, you got all your auxiliaries because the Raptor, just like the Gladiator and the Bronco, these bad boys are made to go off-road. So you can set it up for the light pods like I was talking about in the bumper that people do. A lot of people will mount a light pod right here. You got obviously a big, you can mount a big light bar up top. These are all your auxiliary switches for those. You got the, you got the dual panoramic sunroof. So your entire roof is essentially open which is really neat the metal bezels here around here so you got the a nice da uh, leather dash you got a little bit of storage here your glove box another one of my favorite things with the raptor is just kind of the the chunkiness of everything and it sounds weird to say that but it really is like being the raptor is made to be off-road 
everything is a bit more everything is a bit more chunky and what i mean by that is like your bezels are a bit more chunky your knobs you got kind of the rubber coated knobs everything is a bit more blocky and chunky versus in some of the other more we'll say luxury even though the raptors you know outside of the raptor the platinum the raptor is one of the most luxury versions of the f-150 so down here we got two usbs you got nice little storage covered up like that dual cup holders and then there's the f-150s are notorious they have such a huge storage compartment in the middle and then in the back that's one of my favorite parts about the F-150s, is the back is massive. There's a couple other trucks that I'm hoping to drive and review on this channel so we can do a full comparison. Because there's some, you know, whether it's the Tundra, the Titan, even the newer Rams I haven't been in. But in terms of space in the back and some of the, maybe the little bit older ones, um, the F-150 always, in my opinion, has the most room. I have two little kids. Uh, we had a German Shepherd and we could fit everybody in my F-150, no problem. If you're looking for a big vehicle that's good for passengers, this F-150 Raptor is probably one of the best ones. So let's get in the back seat and I'll show you just what I mean. Say <laughs> so what's up to the vlog. Yo, what up? <laughs> So I'll show you guys in the back just what I mean. This is something that's not typical in a lot of a lot of vehicles, especially as you get into the F-150, you notice headrooms there, legrooms there. I have my seat set how I like it, which is all the way back. But then again, you hop in the back seat. And back here, got two USB chargers, another 110, heated seats in the back. That's one thing that is very hard to find in another another truck. So you got front seat is big man certified, but I actually, this is for the first, the first time on this channel, it is a first, I will stamp the back seat of a vehicle big man certified. I don't like riding in the back seat. I don't like being the passenger in vehicles. I always like to drive, but if I was to ride, I could ride in this one, that's for sure. Let's get back in the front seat. Um, so by the way, that was Noah. Um, I've known Noah since he was just a little tiny kid. Uh, I went to school with his brother, so I've known him and his family for pretty much my whole life. Um, but he's one of the salesmen out here at Severson. So if you're looking to buy a vehicle, even specifically this 2019 wrapper is 54.9. It's got 99,887 miles on it. It might go up by a quarter of a mile as I drive around the parking lot. But if you're looking to buy this Raptor, I'm going to leave the link for it in the description box down below. Come see any of the salespeople out here. Noah, he's one of them. So one other thing I want to point out in a lot of the newer Ford, I know they do them in the Expedition and then obviously in the new trucks, but they have what's a trailer backup assist. So if you're having trouble backing up a trailer into, we'll say, a boat launch, your camper, something like that, Ford has what's called their trailer backup right here so you switch this on and it will literally assist you backing up your trailer so then you don't look like that guy as you back your boat up into the into the launch of the lake all right so now we're inside we're buckled up we're gonna take this bad boy this is gonna be a lot like the bronco the badlands edition bronco we did last time this is not a cheap vehicle um you know all the ones we do typically are are a bit newer um and again this one being a 2019 being 54 5 55 thousand dollars um, we're going to stay close to the dealership there's a couple of cool spots right again we kind of went around the, you know we went about this before but so we're going to kind of just stay right here and uh kind of see how it handles and so for me i've been driving uh f-150 now for the last five and a half years and the reason i chose it is because i fit in it so well you know and the the raptor is just essentially i mean it's an f-150 but it's a massive f-150 it sits wider it's up on fox shocks you got typically you got stock 35s 
you got the big fender flares you know it's it's made to kind of off-road you got the skid plate up underneath it's it's made to be a big a big off-road vehicle the big difference for me so my f-150 is a 5.0 v8 so it's the a little bit of a bigger motor these these raptors right now i know in 2023 i think is the first year that they started doing the or the v8 raptor again they did it up until 2014 you could get a 6.2 liter raptor and then they switched to the 3.6 with a turbo which is what this is so it's a um, smaller motor but it's got a turbo on it the fuel efficiency goes up a bit you're towing the torque it's it's a lot quicker it's very zippy but with the turbo on it um, for obvious you know obviously see so yeah, that's the big difference with the v6 is the pop off the line it's really quick with that turbo you just kind of and these f-150s um, the raptors have the paddle shifting it's a 10 speed you know so it'll i mean you can really shift through like having 10 gears on a vehicle is a lot especially on a you know a couple ton truck um, these f-150s are again they're the aluminum body they're not quite as heavy you know having the military grade aluminum is one of the best things especially when you're in minnesota like i am you're in a state that it's very cold and snowy a good chunk of the year and because of that there's salt on the roads as we all know salt on vehicles is like a death wish on a vehicle so having the aluminum body it's one of those things that you don't you don't have to deal with the rust all right so let's see here let's see how this bad boy gets up and goes the turbo is a lot different the it's, it's a lot different than the you know having the v8 the v6 turbo and again you can paddle shift Guys, that is officially gonna wrap this episode of Big Man Certified here on the Mikey Paulus YouTube channel. This 2019 F-150 Raptor is officially stamped Big Man Certified. So again, thanks so much for tuning in to this episode, guys. If you dig the episode, you dig the Raptor, please hit that thumbs up button, hit the red subscribe button to not miss my next episode. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. special shout out to Dave Severson for letting me jump in this 2019 Raptor again it is for sale right now I got the link in the description box down below if you come out to check it out tell them Mikey Pola sent you and with that see you later guys bye